Okay, so I wanted to make this video to show the difference between the 3G MMI and the 3G Plus MMI. So there's two two differences. There's many differences actually. So see the buttons are different. This is the one in my hand is the 3G, and then the one on the seat is the 3G Plus. And the main difference is obviously the buttons configuration, but this system is also a lot easier to use in the 3G Plus. I don't really care because I'm going to be changing the screen anyways to one of those Android ones, but I wanted to change the buttons to the 3G Plus MMI because there's fewer buttons, it's less confusing to use, so I wanted to do that. But what happened is that I tried plugging it in and it doesn't work. So I'll show you right now. I'm going to plug it in right now just so I can show you guys. Um, oh, so the, before I plug it in, let's let's review the back of this. The back of the two panels on the control board is almost exactly the same, except see how here there's only seven pins and here there's eight pins because there's one extra pin on the left if you see. <clears throat> so the new one is missing one pin. And I researched online before doing this about uh, if it would work and everyone said that the new MMI buttons use a different um, signal type than the old ones. So now it's plugged in and when it's plugged in it only flashes these two lights. I don't know why again and again it flashes these two and as I press it you can see nothing's happening on the screen. I can try to turn it, still nothing happening. So radio volume, turn on the radio off, nothing happens. I can still do it with the, oh, I guess I can't do it with the radio, with the steering either. But anyways, so it's just not working. So just don't go out, waste your money to change the buttons because that's not gonna end up well. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe. Thank you.